Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Combat Corner. This is Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, your host. I am doing this video on the side from my partners as it's a topic that already happened last week, and I wanted to hit on it before it got old. But um, Tyson Fury fought Alexander Usyk in uh, Saudi Arabia, and Usyk came up with the big upset win over the previously undefeated Tyson Fury to capture every heavyweight belt, including the lineal championship. Now, this was a fight that had been in the making, and overall it was a great heavyweight matchup. Really an exciting fight to watch. Fury gets hit hard in the ninth round. Some people think that the referee saved him by calling a mandatory eight count because he was in the ropes, and really the ropes kept him up, <clears throat> which is why that eight count happened. So nothing. I don't think anything happened in terms of saving him. However, there are a lot of folks that think that Usyk won this fight easily, and I'm not one of those people. I thought. Tyson Fury won the fight. Um, having watched the fight, I don't like to watch fight with volume. I don't like to listen to commentators because the commentators easily sway public opinion on a fight. So when I watch the fight, I ask people, well, what rounds do you think one guy won and which rounds do you think another guy won? And when I watched that fight, I thought Usyk won round one. I thought Fury won one won rounds two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I thought he won every, and was it, no, was it eight? Two, th two to seven, I thought Fury won. Those are the rounds that I thought Fury won. I thought he won two through seven. So at that point, I had Fury up six to one. Then I thought Usyk won round eight, and then round nine <clears throat> was the round that he, drew, he uh, had the standing eight, the mandatory eight count. So he won that round. I thought, he, I thought Usyk round, won round 10, but then I thought Fury won the rounds 11 and 12. And so my card was 115, 112 for Fury. Now, the one round that I thought could have gone either way was round uh, three. I thought round three was a toss-up round that I gave to Fury. But if you give it to Usyk, I still have Fury winning that, that, that fight 114, 113. And that was one of the cards was... Uh, I think 114, 113 for Fury. One, I think it was 114, 113 for Usyk. And one, I think 15, 112, I think it might have been. Or, but nonetheless, that knockdown actually was the difference in the fight on the judges' scorecards. That knockdown is actually what gave Usyk the win because on that one card, he won 114, 113 which without that knockdown would have been a 114-114 split draw. Now, I'm taking nothing from Usyk. I thought he fought a great fight. I thought he did a great job. I thought it was a, I thought it was a close fight. But I thought, I thought Fury won the fight. And they're going to rematch. They should rematch. In October is the talk. And they're going to make a boatload of money. Good for both of them. <clears throat> but I do think that Fury won that fight. I don't like the way he went about saying at the end of the fight that Ukraine's in a war, so that's why they gave it to him. I don't subscribe to that type of thing. I think that's whack. Um, I don't think it's beneficial. And I think it looks like sour grapes. But any time a boxer loses, they typically have sour grapes. It's very rare that a boxer thinks he lost the fight. Very, very rare. And even when they clearly lose, they still think they won. But in this case, I thought it was a very close fight. Even though my card was 115-112 Fury, it was still a close fight. It wasn't a wipeout. But I do think that Fury won those six rounds in a row straight and won, won rounds 11 and 12. So that was a big fight. There's some other big fights on the horizon. Now what happens with Anthony Joshua because of it? Because Joshua was clearly going to fight Fury next if he had won the fight. Now that's put on hold. So what happens next for Anthony Joshua? Does he fight someone else? Does he fight uh, Joseph Parker? I don't know if Parker has a, has a guy to fight right now, but that could, I mean, I think he's already beaten him as well. So, but Par Parker has been doing well and wow, Deontay Wilder has a fight coming up already. 
I just don't know what Anthony Joshua does at this point because I think that fight with Fury was his fight, and now it's not going to happen. So what do you think is going to happen? What do you think? Who do you think uh, Anthony Joshua should fight in the meantime? Does he sit? Does he wait to see if Usyk wins again? But if Usyk wins again, that's not good for Joshua because Joshua lost to Usyk twice already. So, yeah, that's a uh, – we'll see. We shall see. That said, I, I look forward to the rematch of the Fury fight. I thought Fury overlooked Usyk a little bit. I do, even though he came in great shape. He might want to come in heavier. He might want to be heavier because he was in fabulous shape. But it seemed like once he got his nose cracked, I think it was in round eight, was when Usyk cracked him on the nose and seemed to bust his nose and, and so forth. I think that kind of changed the fight a little bit, and it turned the momentum. I thought there was a few spots where Fury had Usyk hurt and didn't attack like he should have and tried to finish the fight. It's one of the things in boxing that I always wonder why guys don't go for it. You know, you you should never leave a guy to have another chance. It's boxing. These, these are heavyweights, man. You land one shot. Fight changes. Fight's over. So uh, I, think, I think Fury comes back. I think they fight again. I do think Fury would win a rematch, which would set up a third fight. Because I think Fury will, will avoid making the mistakes he made. I think he does a better job fighting at distance, using his jab, not letting Usyk just come right into him. But uh, give me your thoughts. What did you think of that fight? Who do you think won that fight? Keep it civilized. I thought Fury won. He lost. It is what it is. I didn't lose any money. I didn't really care. But uh, what are your thoughts? Let me know. Leave a comment. Peace. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.